Hey guys, so today we're going to be making another recipe from Chrissy Teigen's Cravings Cookbook and the one we are doing today is sweet potato gnocchi with brown butter and sage. I'm really excited about this. I've never made gnocchi before, obviously, because like, who has? But um, I love sweet potato and so I'm really excited. I've already softened up the sweet potatoes in the microwave and um, so first we're gonna make the gnocchi and then while those are cooking we will make the brown butter sage sauce thing um, she said I probably only need one sweet potato but she said one large one and I honestly like I don't know what the large sweet potato so these are very hot still so I just got two um, one bigger one and one smaller one, so we'll see. Um, so I'm just going to peel these, and I'm not even sure, be real honest for a minute, I'm not sure if a peeler is going to work on these, because, like, it's so soft, it's, like, they're wrinkly, like, ugh. But I'm going to try it, and then if not, I'll just get a, God, they're so hot. If, they're, if it doesn't work, I'll just get a knife. Wait, these don't look like sweet potatoes. It's not sweet potato colored. Let me taste it. It just smells like a potato. I don't think that's a sweet potato. Those look like sweet potatoes. Mm. It's kind of sweet though. It said sweet potatoes. Well, I guess we're just going to try it. Maybe these won't be sweet potato gnocchi, but maybe they'll just be... What could this be? Like a yam? It said sweet potato. I don't know. <sighs> okay, well, we're just going to try it. Okay, so I'm going to peel these. Um, I'm glad y'all can't see what I'm doing here because this is a disaster. What color are yams? Do they look like regular potatoes on the inside? Oh man. Well, we'll see how this turns out. I literally can do nothing right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. That's pretty delicious though. It must be a yam. I don't know. One thing about this cookbook that I haven't really like super expanded upon yet is that one of the reason I wanted to do this is because you know when we hear celebrities come out with cookbooks or like I mean the main one that I think of is um, Gwyneth Paltrow and her Goop cookbook. I don't know like what happened for us to all turn on Gwyneth Paltrow but I feel like we did and she just became, like, I feel like she's probably fine and, like, normal, but she just became this, like, seemingly, like, in, like, crazy, like, pretentious, just completely hashtag unrelatable, and, um, I don't know, I just, like, knew that this cookbook wouldn't be that, and, um, I feel like a lot of people probably would think that it was, and so... I just kind of wanted to like prove that me, the dummy who doesn't even know how to buy sweet potatoes at the grocery store, like could cook these things and make it through and survive. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of show that. And so that's why I'm doing this. And um, 
I was I spent a lot of time last night kind of going through the whole thing and planning some things out and I'm just really excited to try a lot of these things like it she makes it all seem like yes these are like big deals that do seem scary but if you've got the right instructions and the right tools like you can do it just fine and um, so I'm excited to like explore all of that there I go with that excited word again So I'm going to just pick these up. Oh my god, they're so hot. Maybe I'm not going to just pick them up. Ah! Jesus. Okay. Alright, into our bowl. And this also says to use a potato masher or a ricer, which like, I obviously don't have. Um, it's like extravagant. So I'm going to use a fork. And we'll see how it goes. Here we are, starting to do some mashing. I also have a pot of water turned on back here, but just to medium heat. But I think I'm gonna start to raise that up because we are going to need it to be boiling. Okay, so those seem as smooth as a potato or <laughs> whatever this is that I'm eating is going to get okay so those seem as smooth as a potato or <laughs> whatever this is that I'm eating is going to get okay and now we need to add our other things we have ricotta that's how um Giada she also says it ricotta and salt and pepper Have y'all seen these adorable salt and pepper shakers? I'm never clear on which one is salt and which one is pepper. Something to do with the holes, right? I probably didn't put them in the right ones. But I love them. Okay. And flour. Oh, I see I messed up again already. I'm so good at this. I was supposed to like scatter in the flour after I mixed everything else together, but. Here we go. I'm going to a concert tonight. A little bit about me going to see Vance Joy. I won meet and greet tickets to see him before Taylor Swift when he was opening for Taylor Swift in like October. And um, we had a whole thing happen and parking disaster. And if you've ever been to Cowboy Stadium, you know what I'm talking about. And we, like, I almost missed it, and I only got to see him for, like, two minutes, and my boyfriend didn't get to meet him at all because he was still parking. And even though we left the house, like, two and a half hours before we needed to be there. And um, so I only got to, like, run in and take a picture. And so they were, his people were so nice, and they gave me meet and greets for tonight when he came back to Dallas on his own tour. And this time the meet and greet is after the concert, so we won't miss it. I'm really excited. Okay, now it's time to knead. So I need to make some room for that. Nervous about kneading. I feel like this is where it could all go wrong. I need the flour again. We are going to flour our work surface, which is going to be on this cutting board. I hope is okay. I need to sneeze again. Work surface is floured. I don't know. I always get afraid that I'm gonna put too much and then everything I cook is just gonna taste like flour. I think I just need to get over it. Okay, so here is what my Definitely not orange sweet potato dough looks like. Beautiful. This feels like this is gonna make a lot of gnocchi. All right, we're kneading the dough 10 times. I feel like a gymnast flouring my hands. 
Oh, it's still so warm. Okay. Need that dough. Okay, it's not no longer sticky. It seems as though it's just getting stickier. Maybe I need to wash my hands and... I was feeling all right about this, but now I'm not so sure that I do anymore. Maybe I'm overworking it. Is that a thing? I think that's a thing. I'm nervous to do this, but we're going to try to put the gnocchi in. Let's keep saying that weird. Gnocchi. Okay, we are boiling. Now we are going to put the gnocchi in. You're throwing those like a crazy person is obviously going to keep splashing me. We're making brown butter, which is so fancy. Get my sage ready. I think I need to get rid of the stems. Yeah, sage leaves. So I'm gonna get rid of the stems of these. Do I cut or just pull? Oh, I think I can just pull. Oh, this smells good. When I was at Baylor, we had to walk by this one building like every day and it had sage plants outside of it and there were tons and tons of them and you had to walk down the whole like all alongside the building and that smell like overwhelmed me every day and I just smelled this and got like a huge flashback to that. I didn't love it then but this is much less than there was there. So we have everything going, we've got butter browning, we've got... Gnocchi, gnocchi cooking and we're just waiting for the brown butter to be ready to put the sage in. I have no frame of reference for how to tell if gnocchi is done cooking. Because you know, like pasta you can like throw it on your refrigerator and if it sticks it's ready or something. And like we all know when pasta is ready anyway because like we eat it. But I've never eaten gnocchi, so I don't know. It smells very specific. So at Christmas time, my dad always makes a ton of fudge and peanut brittle. And the house, like the first part of it, I think it's the fudge, is like just butter and sugar, like melting together in a, in a pan. And that smell is so gross to me. I don't know why, because obviously those things are delicious and it turns into fudge, which is more delicious. But... I hate that smell so much and that's what this smells like right now. So I think we're gonna throw the sage in and we're going to let this get crispy and we're gonna drain our gnocchi. I don't know how I feel about that crispy sage. Okay, these must be done. They're all like floating and puffy. Is that the sign of a gnocchi being done? Much more familiar with chicken and dumplings, and this is what the dumplings look like when they're done, so. We're just gonna try it. Woo! Trying to steam up the camera lens. <laughs> oh no. Does that look, make me look like mysterious? <laughs> I don't know what that sound is. I'm gonna say that that butter is done and we're going to put our gnocchi in. I honestly have no idea if these gnocchi are done at all. Hmm, I don't know. They feel like they might be. Oh no, oh no, oh no. We're tossed and coated, so we're gonna put it in the bowl. You know, honestly, this brown butter looks like cinnamon, which I would be even more thrilled about. Parmigiano-Reggiano. Again, another Giada thing. I feel like I talk about her a lot, but like, 
I don't know why. Okay, adding our cheese because cheese makes life better. Here we have our maybe sweet potato gnocchi. Who really knows? Guys, it's gonna be so hot. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's good. I have no idea what it's supposed to taste like, but it's pretty good. The, the gnocchi are soft, they seem cooked. The cheese is delicious. The butter, all good. I can't really taste the sage. Maybe I didn't make that, let that cook long enough. I don't know, but delicious. So thank y'all for watching. Let me know if you cook this. Let Chrissy know if you cook this. And um, if you're liking these videos, go ahead and subscribe. They're going to come out once a week. Um, like it, thumbs up, and um, I will see you all next week with another new video. Bye!